Hey, welcome to the sort of beers, Jack and Barbecue. Today, doing pizza. So we're gonna get the Rectech 590 fired up. We're gonna, this actually will make uh, four pizzas. Uh, you're actually gonna see my wife's hands putting uh, all, doing all the things that we need to do for this pizza today. But she has this mixed up right now. Um, we'll put the recipe in there, what we use for the flour and all the ingredients on here. But this is gonna now sit for another hour in the heat. It's about 90 something degrees out here. She's gonna cover it up. But um, we're going to cover it, let it sit for an hour, let it rise. And then from there, she's going to break it down and we'll show all the steps involved making the pizza. So uh, next step will be when we break this into four. All right, so we're going to get my wife to show you what's going on next. So. She made the, the dough, and like I said, we'll put the recipe in the, in the video here, and also in the show more so you have it. Um, but what you're gonna see once she pulls this off is how much has increased in size. Basically a little bit more or around double in size. So you see how nice that's looking now. So what she's gonna do next is I'm just gonna let her do her thing, just kind of punch it down, um, kind of rework it some, and then cut it into sections. <clears throat> so adding more flour to make it easier to work with, um, we are using a bread flour for this, just so you know. So like I said, she'll rework it. And then once it's at the point where she likes it, and again, this is probably why, this is why I'm letting her do all this, because she knows the feel of what it is. We've been kind of experimenting with pizzas for a little while. So we're kind of feel we're at a good point to show everybody what we do. So what she's doing now is now going to cut it into four sections. And then she's actually going to work these sections to kind of, I, kept, I guess you want to call it keep folding it kind of in, uh, in to, to create a nice little cylinder, almost like a ball, but just as you can see there. <clears throat> And again, once she gets them where she likes for that, she kind of sets them down, moves on to the next one. And she's leaving them spread out a little bit on the board here because they're going to, again, start rising again because of the yeast in here. So what she'll do next now is she's got them set where she wants to. Um, she's going to cover them back up. They're going to sit this way for 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and then from that point, we'll start making pizza crust and start making some pizza. So we'll bring you back shortly. All right, so now the four separate pieces have been sitting for right around 15 minutes. So now what she's gonna do is start working one um, with some flour. No, no, with no flour, sorry. That's why I don't do this. So start working this and kind of making your pizza shell out of it. So we'll just let her do her thing and uh, you'll see how nice this looks when it's done. Wait till she flips it in the air. <laughs> so just she'll just keep working this out until she feel she feels like it's at the the right thickness and got the right edge on it. She kind of can tell if, if something starts breaking away on her a little bit, she'll she'll stop and, and start moving on to another area just to get it as, as big as she can get it. But they kind of make a nice I don't know if you'd call that an eight inch pie or something like that, eight eight inch pie, which actually works out nice. You cut that into four pieces once you're, once these are done. And the, uh, the nice thing is you, we usually make four different pizzas. So you get a little bit of flavor of different ones. So now I'm just gonna get out a little bit of olive oil, spread it around on the, on the dough. Now she's going down with some uh, Rayo's tomato sauce. So if we get this at Costco, um, it was voted like the best on America's Test Kitchen, and it is a good tasting sauce. Just with like two spoons here, then she's going to spread it around in the pie. First pie is going to be the pineapple, the Hawaiian pies. It's going to be pineapple and ham on this one once she gets to that point.
Let's throw a little garlic in here. <clears throat> and this one here, we actually got like the pre-cut mozzarella. And we cut it into smaller pieces and then we'll just spread on the pie. Now she's going on with ham. This ham we actually made um, on one of our cooks that we showed on YouTube. So we took an entire or a half of a ham, uh, basically double smoked it. What I ended up doing is cutting it into some different chunks and we freeze it for future meals. So we brought it out for uh, making this one. If Jack's good enough here, we're gonna actually put that link onto uh, this video and you can see the ham that we made for this. And now she'll throw some pieces of pineapple. So we just got some chunks of pineapple that we cut into small pieces. And there we go, that's the uh, Hawaiian pie we're gonna bake then. Next one she's gonna do, we're gonna prep two right away. We're only gonna show two, because you can kind of do whatever you want when you're doing these. Um, we'll end up, oh, almost forgot the oregano. We actually made them this weekend and forgot the oregano. All right, so on to pie number two. This one's going to be a meat lovers. So again, just going to work the dough to get it to where she feels it's the best and then start stretching it out on, on the parchment paper. I didn't mention that too. We, we use parchment paper and we'll actually cook it on the grill on parchment paper just because it keeps it on the grill easy. It's easy to move around on the grill and it's easy to get off. I don't have a pizza peel or something like that. So the parchment paper works for us. Uh, we cook these at 475 degrees what we found to be the best temperature between 15 and 20 minutes, depending on what's involved. When they get a loaded up pizza, it takes a little longer. Um, and like I said, it kind of moves around. Said parchment, I think can go to 450 degrees. We do 475. Some of the edges will get brown, but so far we haven't caught one on fire. We'll see what happens tonight. The nice thing about doing these, it doesn't really matter what the shape is, just as long as you get it somewhere in a circle of some sort and you get it to the thickness you want to make a good pizza. As you know, with most of our cooks, it's all about the meat, so we usually load this one up pretty good. Um, this is our homemade bacon. All right, so next we're gonna go on the grill. We're gonna do two of those. We won't show those on camera, but my wife does like just a regular pie with uh, sauce, mozzarella, basil. We have fresh basil from our garden. Um, so we'll do one of those. And the fourth one, I'm not even sure what we're gonna do yet, but it'll be something probably with, uh, maybe just be another plane, but we'll see what we do with the fourth one. So we'll see you on the grill. All right, we're gonna go throw the meat lovers on, and then I'm gonna go get the uh, Hawaiian one. right back there's the Hawaiian one that looks good all right we're gonna leave that going for 10 minutes before I come back and probably spin them all right so we're at the 10 minute mark just want to take them in and spin them around you can see how that paper got a little brown but that's all right just do this to kind of promote the even cooking I'll probably do this in, uh, right now the way it looks, it almost, they're getting close to done, so maybe another four to five minutes and they're going to be done. So we'll bring it back when we pull them off, or if I spin them one more time, we'll see. All right, it's been five more minutes. One thing I love about this grill, we set it at 475, and it's just rock salad 475. Yeah, this one's coming off. And I think this other one, I'm just going to go another couple minutes with this one. And then this one's going to come off as well. So just a little bit more. All right, so we left it on like another three minutes. And I think I'm going to pull it off the way it is. There we go. As always, cheers.
So here we are, end of the cook, Rectech 590, pizza. So as my wife showed how to properly do the dough, properly make a pizza, um, I get the good part to do the introduction, cook it, and show you how it tastes. So it all works out. Um, made a uh, Hawaiian pizza, which is just um, the sauce, the uh, did olive oil first, the sauce, um, some like kind of fresh mozzarella cheese slices that we put on there, um, and then ham that we actually made on a previous cook, and then pineapple. Um, baked them. Um, this one here was um, similar to the, the sauce. We used shredded mozzarella on this one, did pepperoni ham that we from a previous shoot, and some bacon that we, our homemade bacon. Um, baked them at 475 on the Rectech. They went about, uh, this one went about 15 minutes, this one went about 18 minutes, um, just to get to where we want to be. So let's slice into one. I'll take a little taste and we'll see what it's like. Nice little crunch in there. I'm going to show this properly here. Looks pretty good. Since they're pretty hot, I'm just going to do a little fork and knife taste here. Just really good, good taste. And we've done a, like four different tries of this. We did, we landed on bread flour and the reason for bread flour, they say it's a little bit harder to work with, but it's also gets a little bit more crispy. So even though that was in the very center of the pie, it was still a little crispy piece in there of the dough that I had once I cut into this. So like I said, have fun with pizzas. Um, like I said, we're doing four of them. We'll show a picture or two at the end of the other two that we did. Uh, one was just a pepperoni pizza and the other one was a basil. Um, and mozzarella pizza that my wife likes is her favorite. So we'll just like I said, show a picture, but like I said, have fun with these. So uh, hopefully like we are seeing, subscribe to the channel, click the little bell, get notifications, and we'll see you next time.